Welcome. This is just a really, really quick uh, tutorial to answer a question someone had. This is for Ed Brown, who asked how to make the control rods pulse uh, in the auto tour tutorial. Now, you can do this for any quick and easy pulsing material you want to make. This is not a complex version. It's certainly not uh, the most robust version for pulsing between different colors or anything like that. But uh, just as a very basic one to get started, I will show you how you can do it. So let's go in and open up our control rod color, where we could have any material that just had uh, base things. In fact, even if you didn't have these, if you just had colors, it, it would work. Um, but right now, in the Auto Tour 1, we have this plugged into our base color as well as our emissive color. Now what we're going to do is make the rods pulsate uh, and shades of the same color. So what we're going to do is very, very simple. We are going to... <coughs> uh, first add a time component because we want something that's going to change the value otherwise you'd have to do it through blueprints um, we're going to run this to make a sine curve so we've got that and then we are going to multiply this value by the sine curve and then if you were to plug that directly in you've got a glowing texture, a pulsating texture. Now, if you want to have a little more control over this, there's a couple things you can do. So the first is, uh, we're going to add a clamp in here. And it won't change anything right off the bat, but <clears throat> now you can, for instance, plug in a constant. into the min, and that way we can change the value, let's say the 0.25, and therefore the lowest value, it'll still glow a little bit. It won't glow nearly as much, but it'll glow a little bit. The other thing you can do is you can uh, change the period. So we can make this 0.5, and it pulses faster. We make it 2, pulses a little slower. And it's a little slower still. <clears throat> you can also do that with the sign. We can change the sign to be 2. And that'll slow it down. I find that that actually works better than adjusting the time. We go 5 here. And it's a much more gradual up and down. <clears throat> if you want to do colors, uh, you know, you could add <clears throat> different colors in, do different multiplications and then feed it into your emissive color. But at, at a real quickie, uh, just because I wanted to answer the question, uh, this is how you would do it. And again, you'd apply the same thing to make any basic pulsating uh, emissive material. So, hope that helps. Thank you, and I'll see you later on. Go out and make great games.